Hey everybody, my name is Tyler Watson, your Las Vegas and Henderson Realtor. This is tour time with Tyler and welcome to Rainbow Crossing. Let's check out this model. But again, before we do right here, I'm gonna throw up my link for my free mobile app. Go ahead and download it. You will get home sent directly to you before sites like Zillow and Realtor.com. Completely free to use, only works on phone. Let's check out this one. So again, we are at Rainbow Crossings. This is a Pulte community. We are out in the southwest today and I'm loving the weather today. It's been a little windy the last couple days with the weather changing, but today is beautiful. Right here we have the Duncan, two story, 3,021 square feet. I believe you could do up to five bedrooms. So four to five bedrooms, two and a half to I believe three and a half bath, two car garage. This one starts at 494,880. Now they have a couple different elevations. The exterior, they range in price. They can change the number of bathrooms, the number of bedrooms, really like how Pulte operates. Now, do me that huge favor and hit the like button. It really does help out with the YouTube algorithm. Make sure to subscribe and let's get into this one. Again, I do tours every single day. So HOA here, I believe is like $35 a month and the lots are somewhere between, call it 15 to $30,000. Now coming in, and I know I say it in all of my new tours, but we have so many new subscribers. If you're thinking about buying new, you wanna buy new, if you fill out information online or you go into the sales office and speak with associates, you are gonna be tied to them. If you want an agent, fun fact by the way, the builder pays the realtor commission, not you. So if you want representation, the sales associates actually work for the builder, they don't represent you. So give me a call. All my info is down in the description below. Right here we have our powder room. So pedestal, sink, toilet. It's actually a pretty decent size. One thing to note in here, the flooring is 100% an upgrade. We have our coat closet. Now normally with most builders, you're gonna get carpet throughout the house minus the wet areas. And they consider the wet areas entry, kitchen, bathroom, and laundry. So keep that in mind as we're going through this tour. I'm gonna to point out some of the options, some of the upgrades, but do note that this has quite a few upgrades in it. The railing is one, the carpet. This is upgraded carpet. But depending on which elevation you get, the windows will change a bit. The exterior 100% will change. Let's go ahead and head on up. Again, if you have any questions about anything I'm saying in this tour or any other tour, please feel free to reach out to me. Now I know you can do an extra bedroom up here. So that would turn it into, I believe five. You could do three to five, I believe in this one. And I'll point out the other bedroom as well. So big loft, huge loft. They have a whole poker area. They have the sitting area. And again, these windows, depending on which model, elevation you choose will change a bit they did the can lighting in here they will give you that pre-wire cap right there that's for a ceiling fan or any type of lighting fixture they did the fireplace i don't know how much it is exactly in this community but usually they range anywhere between like 32 to 4800 depending on the community it is fake so just fyi it's not gas it's a holographic image Let's see so how you can't really see it this way, but as you come around, you can see it. This one will put out heat a little bit. Some of them don't, but these ones will. And then this whole sitting area. This is so cool. I love this idea. You could throw a, poke, or a pool table up here. It's a nice size. And then look at the storage. Wow. So huge amount of storage. This is bigger than a bathroom. If we spin around and come on down the hall, right here, before we check out the bathroom, we get to our first bedroom. Dear Lord, this is large. <laughs> so king size bed, two nightstands, big window. I'm gonna pause the video real quick to turn off my ring. So back at it. Again, this room is huge. This is a secondary bedroom and there's a king size bed in it. I love this. So again, they won't put the light in, but they'll give you that pre-wire cap in the other room. This is what it looks like after adding a light. Again, you can add a ceiling fan, even a chandelier if you like. But this room's huge. 
we spin around, we have a dresser. I mean, you could easily get a chair in here, a desk, it's big. I mean, you could have two full-size beds in here. Right here is our two-door sliding closet. <clears throat> and what I like is that they give you the double barn shelf. So, I know I always say when builders put one, you can do double. It literally doubles your closet space. Coming on out, we hit our first bathroom. So again, upgraded flooring. I do believe this is one of their standard countertops. Undermounted sinks. These cabinets are upgraded. Now they're just the bumper, but I know that the white and gray cabinets are usually upgrades with them. It's a nice size bathroom. They are giving a medicine cabinet. I know more and more builders are getting away from it, which is kind of strange. They're saying it's more of a modern look. I kind of agree, but at the same time, I do like the medicine cabinets. Let me know if you like the medicine cabinets. We have our toilet. We have our tub shower. So it's an oversized tub. They did the um, cultured marble in this, which is awesome. You will get standard, just the fiberglass composite. There's your shower head. A lot of people like the cultured marble or the composite because there's no grout lines, so it's much, much easier to clean. There's no, you know, scrubbing, scrubbing, scrubbing. But backing out, I wanna hear what you guys have to say about the medicine cabinets. I know I've asked it before on the channel, but we have so many new subscribers. I see both ways. I understand in the secondary bathrooms, maybe not having one, but I would like one in the primary. Right here. Now, this bathroom is an optional upgrade. If you do not get it, it would look something like that closet over there. So you'd have a huge closet, storage closet there, huge storage closet here. I believe this is like a $7,000 option and you get a second bathroom. Would you get the second bathroom? I want to hear. I mean, this is nice, but the storage though, mm -hmm. I, mm, I'd be torn. Just a single vanity on this one. Same countertop, same cabinets. Again, they do give you the medicine cabinet. You have your toilet. And then with this one, they opted for the shower. You can get a tub, you can get a shower. I like this having the shower. So there's your shower valve, your shower head. Again, same thing, they opted up and got the cultured marble. I don't know. I, I'm kind of torn, but I do really like the fact that there are two bathrooms up here because there's the huge loft. There's a bedroom, bedroom, bedroom. Especially if you add the extra bedroom up here, I think you'd really want that bathroom. Next bedroom, not as big as that first bedroom, but still huge. It's really, really big. Now with all of these, you're not gonna get like the extra, like three tone paint. It will be white unless you option up to two tone. But just keep that in mind as we're walking through, this room's massive. Again, same thing in the ceiling. They'll give you a pre-wire cap to add whatever sort of light fixture you'd like. You can do lighting packages and get can lighting. And then there is your two-door slider. It's so funny, these homes are so big, they almost run out of furniture and how to furnish them. <laughs> Coming on down into the master suite. I love how big the windows are in here. They give you massive windows. Fun little fact, those are actually crank windows. So you can crack them open, especially lately. It's been so nice out. It was a little windy this week, but you wouldn't have to run the AC. You almost don't even have to run the heat at this point. King size bed, two nightstands. So there's a total of five, two little windows and three massive windows. And huge room. I feel like I would do two chairs right here and maybe the tree over there. There's even huge dresser because I don't know, there's like over, there's probably eight feet, seven to eight feet right here. Your views out here are so pretty. Now I can't promise you that they'll always be here just because they'll be building and building really quickly while we're here. The next model next door has a pool. So these are pool size lots, they're oversized lots. With any house out here, when you're buying new, you need to budget for the backyard. Now, average home backyard is anywhere between, call it thirteen to fifteen thousand dollars. If you add a pool, just pool spa heater, add forty-five thousand on top of landscaping. But these homes are quite a bit more than the average home out here. They're probably going to be about two hundred thousand dollars more than 
what most people, again, the average new home is about 400,000. So definitely keep that in mind. Big bathroom. I'm just gonna pan really quickly. So you have toilet, closet, linen closet, shower, and then we'll come back around. But there's a lot of space in here. Right here we have medicine cabinet. You have your undermounted sinks, same exact sinks as before, same cabinets, same countertops, couple drawers. I mean, this, this is huge. You do cartwheels in here. Little bit of dead space right here. Now I know this is upgraded. They can do tub and shower or this. Hmm. I feel like I would have liked to see like a tub here and maybe a smaller shower. I want to hear what you guys have to say. Let me know down in the comments below. They did again, the cultured marble. They did the bench. This guy right here, the wand is a upgrade. It's about 1200 ish dollars to get the second shower head. You will get the first one. I feel like the second one is almost a must with how big the shower is right here. Jeez, huge linen closet. It's probably at least three and a half feet deep. This could be another closet. When I was renting a house back in San Diego, my closet was smaller than that. Right here, coming into the actual closet. Now this has been done up quite nicely. Normally you're gonna get just like those wire bar and shelves. You'll have single and double in certain places. And then they're showing you what closets Las Vegas can do. This is incredible. So you have the little island for your jewelry, watches, ties, all that kind of stuff. This is really nice. I'm gonna spin around to show you the other side. You have the display cabinets for shoes, more hanging space, especially with the embedded LED strips. It's really neat. Coming on out, let's go ahead and head on downstairs. Oh, really, really quickly, we have the toilet area. I will knock it just a bit because here's the striker. So here's the hinges, it's gonna open in, and that door, I wish they would open it out, especially with how big this bathroom is, because it's gonna get awfully close to that toilet, so you're gonna have to kind of hang out over there to get out. Just a little knock on it, but other than that, nice. And they even added the door here. That is an option, usually it'll just be passed through. So, other than that little tiny thing where the door is opening the wrong way, really nice upstairs. Let's go ahead and head on down. Again, if you have questions, please feel free to reach out to me, whether it's regarding this home, any new home, or resale. I'd love to help you out in any way possible. Also, again, if you could do me that huge, huge favor and hit the like button, it really does help out the channel. We've been growing so fast, so thank you to everyone who's been subscribing and liking and commenting. First floor, this is so open. I love this. Really quickly, before we head in, we have our Harry Potter room. So extra storage, because we already saw the coat closet. Let's go ahead and head on in this one before we check out living space and all of this good stuff. It's really open in here. So I've actually toured this model before. I just haven't had a chance to film it. I'm gonna show you something really quickly about this room. So coming over here, if you don't get the downstairs bedroom, you get this little kind of cool, like hideaway peekaboo office, nook, study. Now you won't get the cabinets unless you spec it up, but just note, if you get the bedroom down here, this gets walled off right here and this becomes the downstairs bedroom closet. So I wanted to show you that really quickly before coming into this room. So they've set this up as like a study, an office, library, den. The sliders are optional as well as those upper windows. If you get those upper windows, you get them throughout the entire home. So do note that, again, that closet would be right there. If you were to spec this as a downstairs bedroom, the sliders again would be a window and it would be a nice size room. A really nice size room actually. I'm gonna come over here really quickly. Yeah, a lot of times these be downstairs bedrooms are really, really small. Not the case with this one. This would be really nice. Now, little, fact about this bathroom standard this bathroom will be a closet it'll be extra storage you can get just the bathroom 
or you can get the bathroom plus the suite. I believe it's like $7,000 just for the bathroom and then it's like $13,000 for the whole entire suite. It could be off just a little bit, but I'm pretty sure those are around the numbers. So just keep that in mind while walking into this one. We have our vanity, same thing, single vanity. We have our toilet and it's really interesting that they did the tub down here, but I think I know why and I'll get to that here in a minute. We have our tub, again, culture marble, love the little shelf for the soap. And then we have our shower head. The reason I think they did a shower down here only is because this isn't a suite. If this was the suite, I would 100% only do a shower just because if you have people staying down here or if you have elderly parents or anyone just hurt who can't go up the stairs, stepping over that tub lift might be a bit of a challenge. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Would you do this as an office? Would you do this as a room? Would you do that extra bathroom? I want to hear. So just panning around on this side. It's a very large space. It's really, really open. Before we check out this awesome kitchen, let's check out the dining, living, and we'll swing back around. So we have our dining space. And really quickly, we almost don't even need a dining table here because look at the overhang. You could put a chair here. You have one, two, three, four. I mean, there could be five right here with this overhang. So it's kind of funny. You almost have two dining tables in this house. Here is our true, more formal dining area. And it could be way bigger. You could do a full square right here. Instead of just six, you could have like 10. We have our little server, a butler's area, or excuse me, the buffet. And again, there's so many windows in this house. I'm gonna walk around. They did the fireplace. I love how that looks. It's kind of different with the angle, but it's really neat how they specced out this home. It's different. So those sliders are a slight upgrade. Normally you'll just have the single slider. You can do the double slider if you'd like. Huge sitting area. I feel like you can almost even do a bench here. So if people come over, you can sit there and have a whole talk with everyone. Even look how big this window is. It goes almost down. It's below my knee. So huge sitting area. Coming around to the kitchen. Now this is the oversized island. Normally it will be a smaller rectangle. You can do this. I feel like this is almost a must with this house. I, this area would be huge if you didn't get the oversized one. They did the 42 inch uppers plus even the second ones. So these glass ones are an addition. You can get them glass panel. You can go slightly lower than that and get wood panel, or you can just have them completely deleted. That would be how it normally comes. I do believe this is one of their standard stones for the countertops. They did the backsplash. It just feels so clean and so bright with the white cabinets. It's really pretty, especially the backsplash too. So coming in right here. Oh, you can even do more chairs right here, sorry. This even has an overhang. So if you wanted to do another two here, you could have one, two, three, four, five, six. You could have seven comfortably placed bar stools right here. They are giving you a phone jack. So if you have a landline, there's a lot of storage. More storage up above. Right here would be your refrigerator. Now, I believe they're giving all appliances, but I don't want to promise you. I know they've been changing how things are working here and there, but I don't know for sure. Like they keep changing everything with all of the builders. Every day I come over, something's new. The price has gone up right here. Before we check out the rest of the kitchen, two car garage, they added the lowers right here with the folding area, washer, dryer, and then they added the uppers as well. Really cool mudroom. I want to hear from everyone. Since the garage is right here, would you want a folding area or would you want like a, a bench so you can take off shoes and all of that and do like a true mud room? I'm gonna spin over to the island really quickly and we'll come back over to the cooking area. More cabinets, you have your stainless steel dishwasher. They did the apron sink, I love it, really pretty. Here's your view while washing dishes. 
you can see everything. This is kind of cool, this layout, because even though you can't really watch TV, even though you kind of can, you can talk to everyone in the living room. If all of those sliders, more cabinets down below. And then coming back across, they did the under light under the cabinets. It's another upgrade. We have our oven. We have our five burner cooktop, microwave, and it will vent outside just because the cabinets are different. And then we have our pantry. Whoa, I forgot how big it was. It's been a while since I've seen these. So this is done up. Normally you're just gonna get the five white shelves. I love how high up these can go. So if you want this, I don't know if this is an option. Most people don't do that. They do structural items like the bedroom down here or that bathroom upstairs or the sliders, possibly the extra upper windows or even lighting packages just because you can always add that pantry later on. It's harder to add structural options later on. Really nice home. I'm curious to hear what you guys have to think about it. Let me know about the bathroom. Let me know about the room down here. Would you option for them? I wanna hear your thoughts. Again, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. All my contact info is down in the description below. And if you can do me that huge favor, hit the like button, make sure to subscribe. And as always, thanks for tagging along with Tour Time with Tyler. Stay safe out there, everyone.